and welcome to Miss Cheese News from Sankawi. This week we're on the beach and I'm gonna show you how to make some cool stuff with sand. To build well with sand, you need fine sand. This stuff is great. I need a lot of water. Thanks, Daddy! <laughs> when the sand is wet, the water forms small liquid bridges between the grains of sand. The surface tension of the water pulls the grains together, and this is what gives wet sand its strength. Here, I'm using very wet sand. But as I'm building, most of the water will drain out, so it's just damp. It can't be too wet, otherwise it'll just be sloppy. But if it's too dry, the sand will crumble. Compressing the sand also helps a lot. If you're doing a small castle, you can just use your hands to press down really hard into a mold like this. If you're building something bigger, you can use your whole weight to create a strong sand foundation, like this. Wet the sand where you want to build and then jump up and down on it until the sand becomes very strong and firm. Then start heaping up your sand into a big pile. Once in a while, wet the sand with a bucket of water and pat it down hard. Repeat this process until your mound is as big as you need. It should be strong enough to take your weight. We tested ours to make sure. You can carve some good shapes out of a hard sand mound. We used these special tools to make sand spheres. Tubes are useful for poking out tunnels, like this one that we made in our sand sphere. Or you can use them as formwork and build over them. Then gently remove the tube to create a bridge or an arch, like this. They are also pretty useful for smoothing out your sand castles. You can use them like a rolling pin. Scoops and shovels are good for carving out trucks or drains. It smooths out the surface as you scoop. Can you guess what we're making? Here's a clue. It's a sand castle marble run. You really have to get the track smooth and even to get a good run. The marbles get stuck if your track is lumpy or grainy. It took us a while, but we managed to get it working pretty well in the end, even through the tunnels. Here's a more relaxing way of building sandcastles. My granddad taught us how to make these. With the right amount of water, you can make these beautiful drip castles. Oh look, it's a worm at the top. There's a worm at the top. Hi! <laughs> Another fun thing you can do at the beach is bury yourself. <laughs> this is what you need after a hard day's work. It feels nice and cool being buried in the soft sand. But it's hard to get out. See you soon and thanks for watching.